Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well on this Sunday. Uh, it's Sunday, funnily enough. And I, I thought I was going to have a lovely day because I worked really hard during the week. I did all 10 till half past 10 every day, GR, and then we did an interview on Saturday, and then I'd done the gardening all yesterday. And I finally got a few hours to myself, and I thought, come on, let's, let's work on the Nissan and get it going, but it hasn't worked out so good. I woke up to today, well, the, to what must be the, you know, a difficult thing for any, I don't want to say man, but you know what I mean, any human, which is uh, the angry wife. No one really wants that. Oh, uh, I, the reason I'm doing this is I'm creating a new series of tutorials as to how we can help other people, because one thing that we don't want is people suffering in silence. We can't have that. So what we have here is this. This is the bedroom, the boudoir. You might want to call it if you're French, German or something. Uh, that there is the curtain rail. That is what we call less than optimal. We have a pussycat called Pickles, which is uh, possibly the world's most naughty animal. And basically she goes around the house whenever she can and looks for things to destroy. This is her latest preoccupation. So what she's done is taken these curtains and, and pulled on them so hard with a tiny little body weight. You should see her trying to do it. It looks like a dog trying to pull on a hose pipe. It looks ridiculous. So she's pulled it so hard. It's just everything's broken, snapped. Oh the plastic snap from the plastic, the bolts have come out the wall, it's just stupid, right? So, anyway, long story short, angry wife this morning, not going to get to do any car work, annoyed. How do you tackle a problem like that then? There are different ways you can tackle that, but I'm going to show you the super cap way, which is just nuts and bolts bang on. Now here's the thing, I've looked on various online solutions and what I see is cheap, uh, you know, it's probably not Chinese, but you know, what you'd use the kind of sort of joke for us, or oh, a cheap Chinese tat, even the metal ones, it's just pathetic, tiny little fixings, stupid little fixings. And you've got several weak points in the system here. Weak point one, entry to the wall. As you all know, Valley viewers, getting things into the wall that are going to take repeated forces, I guess this kind of relates to aviation as well. You know, you may have a great compressive strength in a wall, but that's not really tension, but that, well, almost is tension, that kind of pulling force, rocking pulling force that Pickles is exerting is a real problem. Uh, so that, and the other weak point is, of course, the bar to the fixings themselves is another weak point. Okay, so let's use the supercat method of attacking this. A, boom, don't delay. Lesson one, don't delay, action is needed. Let's go and look. Lesson two, survey what you've got around you. The proper way to do this would be to go and uh, make a bill of materials, go to the local shop, buy the materials, come home, shape everything, fit everything. And I'm talking a proper solution, not you know, something you can buy off eBay. Uh, but I don't want to do that because I live so far in a way in the fence, because it's the only place we could afford to buy, that it's going to take the whole day to go to the nearest bloody shop. And then that's my whole day just gone, and I can't deal with that. So, good idea. Bar, strong. Pickles, and uh, little three kilos cannot damage that bar. The repeated tension loading just can't damage it. Wood is a great material, especially thick wood. Attachment of curtain to the bar. Excellent attachment down here. Again, pickles will ruin the curtain, don't worry. I mean, we can never have any nice in this house. Pickles will always ruin it. But she's not going to ruin those attachments once the load is spread onto those attachments. Maybe 0 0.5 kilos per loading. They'll be fine. Okay. Next, attachment of bar to wall. No good. Need spicing up properly. So, that takes us to stage three. Stage three, enter your man cave. Do not be distracted by the beautiful Nissans that are desperate desperate to have some time spent on them so we can actually get it working for once. No, got to keep the wife happy. So what we're going to do here is stage th three, which is get into the man cave, or whatever you're supposed to call it nowadays, I don't know, get into the cave, um, which we love, makes you happy in here, doesn't it? And just start taking tools to wood, tools to wood. It's going to be cars, it's going to be tools to metal. If it, she wants to drive down again, it's going to be, you get the idea. Right, so, let's talk. Bar, the mobster, I can't find the mobster long enough and I ain't driving two hours to go and get one. So, a nice piece of pine, that is one and a half by one. It's inches, by the way. we we'll use inches here. Uh, with a couple of end caps that I just kind of screwed on the end there. Is it pretty? No. Will it be after a lick of paint? Yeah, near enough. Okay. There you go. That's not snappy. Tensile strength of that, zap, 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 we'll be pushing in the middle. I'm probably putting about three kilos of weight on there, not even any deflection or anything. 
really interesting. Boom, next, connection to wall is a thumping great piece of pine, four by one. Pine's good, it's, no, it's not the strongest material in the world, it's not oak, but A, we can't afford oak, B, it's fine. Again, tensile strength of pine is fine. Let me make freaking ruse of it, you know, it's fine. Um, yeah, so that. So the whole idea of this is not allowing Pickles' load to be put on one wall fixing. Ensure that it's designed that the load is always going to be spread between all four, five, six, seven wall loadings. That way you've only got a few grams on each wall loading or hundreds of grams, you won't have a problem. So, big bar, big wall fixing to ensure the load is spread. So even if she's just putting her weight on this bit, da -da 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 -da, it's still spread. Maybe some tiny torque forces, but it still really will spread more or less equally, okay? Um, so the fixings are going to be thumping great screws. We're not messing around. They're like um, I don't know, two and a half inch screws, big, fat, thick ones I've reused from the bathroom. Again, reuse. A saves the planet. Greta's happy. B no two-hour journey, and the gas it takes and all that stuff, which means I have to make yet more videos just to try and bloody. Anyway, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Can't really see through this viewfinder. Six, seven, I think that is. Seven big fat wall fixings. All you do, obviously, is you fucking find them, you put the wall plugs in, zap. You get a, kind of like a spread loading when you put the thing in. So that's big, that's seven big loadings that she's going to spread on. Great. Next, attachment. Wall to bar to wall to this. So we get these big fat one by four inch brackets. Big fatties, okay? Attached by hoofing great two and a half inch be fat screws should be absolutely fine again they're always going to be spread between this one too so her uh, loads are always going to be spread spread between those four big two and a half inch screws which are always going to be wood on wood and yeah i don't think the pickles gets really fat i really don't think that's going to be a problem put a couple of notches in the top boom boom that slots in i'll let me show you that something like that boom bar fits in then the curtain's going to go on the bar uh that's the plan let's go and attach to the wall and then we'll celebrate standby. Welcome back valued viewers, we've got the object, it's into the boudoir. Now we've come across our first major problem. Oh, a crack in the wall. I've not seen that before. You know what, the best way to solve a crack in the wall? Just don't look at the wall. Right, we've got the problems here. Can you believe it, if you can see, the screws from the existing mount are not Phillips, as we call them here. Maybe you call them cross heads or something. Now, you tell me this, who in this world Planet Earth, in the last 150 years, did anything without a Phillips head. Can you believe that? I've got to go and get another screwdriver now without a Phillips head. Not happy. It's gored some holes in the wall with the screws to see where to drill. You need a drill like this. This drill will have two modes. Screw mode, or drill mode, and hammer mode. You will need a masonry fitting like that, a masonry bit, on hammer mode. And watch this. It's very important when doing it not to go all the way through the wall or you'll end up in the same problem that we started with in the first place. Oh, we made a, a large error. This, the pole that holds the curtain, what I should have checked is if the curtain, because there's holes in the curtain, fit over this. Didn't bother checking, doesn't fit, which is excellent news. So we're going to do this. This is called a plane, I think. And what I'm going to do is kind of chamfer the corner. Can you see that happening like that? Look at that, it's beautiful. I'm going to chamfer the corners off to give me chamfer, 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 chamfer. And then theoretically, the circular holes for the curtains will go back on. Uh, that's how I think it's going to work anyway, so stand by for that. Welcome back valued viewers, we've got, the, we've got them chamfered and sanded and um, we've got them on now. Uh, slight problem up there, but it's okay because these are only temporary curtains anyway until we can buy new ones. So I'm not going to worry about it there. But otherwise, the only slight problem is there, because it's a bit of a tight fit, they don't slide very well. So what I'm going to do is either, with the new curtains, get ones with bigger holes, so they're just kind of a bit more play in them. Or otherwise I'll just chamfer these down a bit more to more of a mop stick shape. But I don't want to lose the strength, so I'd rather get bigger curtains there. Uh, so that's that all done, and that is strong as 
friggin' houses. No pussy cat. Well, maybe a really fat one, but no pussy cat's going to break that. Um, the only other thing there is a medium, I guess, to high-ish chance that your wife or significant other will point to it and say it's ugly. Um, don't worry about that because you, I will equip, equip you with your comeback, which will be word, dear, whatever you like to say. This, I mean, it's a curtain rail. It's not here for pleasing aesthetics. It's here for prime functionality and structural, good structural tendencies, which I think is what we got here. And I don't think you'll come out of that too bad. I've got nothing else to add. Um, if you want to see any other DIY projects done cat way or any other way of keeping your wife happy, super cat way, let me know. Try for now.